greetings family greetings to every one of us hope you are doing great all right now family quickly let us you know do this together matthew 7 verses 6 i read give not that which is holy unto the dogs okay not that cast ye your pearls before swine lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rent you all right so this is a kind of a public warning announcement to yuri rather let me no i shall with yuri i won't leave that out to Ashaw Iyori, 92% gullible followers of her. This goes for you. It's a warning for you. For you not to come and display your stupidity over here. Just like as your wizard mother Iyori is displaying her witchcraft on YouTube, Facebook, over her dead husband. That is witchcraft, okay? Right now, this warning goes for you. So... This message is a holy one, came from the throne of my Abba Yehovah, okay, to refute and expose wizard Yuri, to save the only 8% people of the book under a satanic and destructive voice. Now he said, we shouldn't give what is holy unto dogs, who are dogs? Dogs simply may unclean, according to the royal law terminology, is unclean. All right, so now you're ninety two percent followers of Yuri. You are unclean until this message is not meant for you. So whenever you connect, so I'm just putting it out, putting it out first. That as soon as you begin to listen and you hear this warning, please just hit the dislike button. How many times? Trailer times. Just go ahead and do that and get out of my sight. You are not meant to be here. Here is an offensive ground for you. Like a kind of a public warning. That's what I'm doing. So just dislike it. Also you on Facebook. Put that red object. Mm, that red and, and, and be display your stupidity. And display your hunger and your foolishness. Just as a year is displayed a witchcraft. Enchantment. Okay. On Facebook and on YouTube. Over her dead husband. Now. The message is, this message is so holy for you. This expose is so holy for you because you are a fool. You're not going to get it. And you will not come here to come and be committing nonsense. It's not meant for you, okay? Get out of my sight. And the other verse also said, Neither cast ye your pearls unto swan. What is a swan? A let the pig. Why is it according to biblical terminology unclean? So what is pear? A very expensive stone. Mm, so expensive right so so expensive now what are we saying salvation is so expensive for dogs and pork it's not meant for wizard is your another her 92 percent gullible follower followers let the dead bury their own dead okay is your is the, is the dead she's gonna bury you all as she buried her husband so heartlessly now the very last verse to go is that if you do they're gonna turn against you you see, so when you begin to, you know, um, uh, speak wisdom, words of knowledge unto fools, they're going to, they're going to bounce back on you. They're going to tear you into pieces. They're going to make life so miserable for you. Yes, they're going to make it so miserable. Because you are, you, you are talking to a fool. You said wisdom is too hard for a fool. Because they are fool. So what you are saying is so high for them. So they're going to display their foolishness. So I'm not speaking to you. Mm? It's a warning unto you publicly. As soon as you begin to hear this voice, just run for your life and display no stupidity. As a, your Yura Shawi Yuri is display witchcraft publicly for the white community to see. Is this how black people are? Does she indeed just marry all this man only for money? And celebrating his death and even say now nah, she's free can travel to america can travel to italy can travel to uk i can even travel to ghana really so there is no pence in her heart to more her husband many all these 50 years 15 whole year what well, she was just there for his money of course everybody knows his money but must you also display that wickedness publicly for the white community to see 
you know that for them to say, oh, this is how black people are, they are so heartless and so wicked. Assuming it was your husband, black husband, dark, you're going to be treating him that way? You're going to carry another boyfriend to the cemetery? That makes insult to the adults. Maybe a do woman, fearful, I'm going to rebuke and beat that demon. Complain, I will beat you and that demon. I'm not beating that demon out of you. I'm going to tie you now very strong with that demon because you must be destroyed with that demon. There's no salvation for you. All right, now with this being said, are you ready for this? Because this is a holy message from the throne of Abiyahua. And it goes for our sisters. He goes for our brother. The sons of the kingdom and the daughters of the kingdom. The very 8% on that the satanic Jezebel Delilah Yuri's voice. You want to lose them also. Because you, Yuri, ah, uh, nah, nah. All right, now. Here we are in the heavenly court room of Abiyahua. With this powerful message started to you and me. Wizard is your black and white penis rejoicing over her dead husband. Love of money, the root of all evil. Oh, I love the royal love. It's too complete. Love for money is the root of all evil. You're gonna be displaying that evil. You're gonna be as you're gonna you, you know you're, you're gonna be exuding that evil. That oh, I'm there for it's only money. I don't care. Somebody that who cares? Eh, who cares? He gave me paper and so what? I'm just there to claim the two houses. As you also say, he have plots of land. And also the little change in the bank. That is what I'm there for. Who cares? A cheeky. In fact, cheeky is even better than him. Because he was kind of a stubby black, and tell me. Eh? He just become a stubby block. Eh? A rotted door that you cannot even do anything with. Nah, 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 nah. Let that man just get out of my son. In order for me to move on. He cri 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 go. In order for me to climb it up. The root of all evil. You could even do it secretly. You display this publicly. It was written all over you. Your body language was so unspeakable. You didn't even display that wickedness through your body language. But your words are your, your words. Anyway, I can always love to see it. Oh, sensational. Emotional. Radiation burning. Personal. Mm. But by the royal last adjective. We want to do this expose again. We want to re refute this Delilah, Jezebel, Wizard, Ashawi, Yuri, one of destruction, link of fire in your words. Mighty name. This goes for me. Only the 8%. Because the coming of Yehoshua Hamishiach is like the days of Lot and like the days of Noah. And in the days of Noah, it was the judgment of the whole world. How many people? Yes, said only 8 people. That is the 8%. I'm referring to in any denomination. Mm, our eight percent is there, and we speak for their sake. Ijuri is so full of materialism. This is supposed to be a barrier ground. She not begin to speak of her dead husband certificate that she's gonna do so much, so so much. You know what? I'm gonna be regulating all those money, all those benefit. This is what I'm gonna be using. She couldn't even hide it. This is the car she bought for the bastard Ibu Ibuma that is banging another man's wife. This man was still in the mortuary, still in the courtroom. Not definitely, you know, gone. He really began to use this man money. He bought a new car. He brought about it for her boyfriend. And bought a new chair. He brought about it and said this chair used remote control. Why the Saudi, you know, uh, property? Why the Saudi, you know, display of what you just got? Is she just bought the gold? Mm -hmm. What? All right, all right. This too was on the burial ground. <laughs> your husband. If your husband was black, are you going to be treating him that way? That is why we are here. So that when the white community you see your stupidity, because not all you can fool, there are some that is so you know, intellectual, understand how it should have been done. You speak of car, new car, he just bought it five months. Uh, they said it's just five months. No, you, you bought it even the week your husband died. He drove it down to the burial, burial ground. Now this death safety key, you say you're going to do so much with it. Any office you want to you know, enter, 
okay to begin to acquire those property we are there for frustrated for a whole 15 years you said this is going to save you so much for that and after two days when this guy died your husband died okay who gave you life who shine his continent to shine who caused his continent to shine on you who show you so much love and so much compassion unto you who show you mercy who make you see the light of life who make you brand who make you who you are you could even honor him for a month not two months you now can only two days you know Rush right there. I don't know what is after you. Yeah, because that was your what you we what you were you're waiting for. You bought a goal, you contradict yourself. You say it's fifteen thousand in the other you not know, yet two minutes or just three minutes away from your speech, you retrieve that and said now it's twelve thousand euros. So why did this play only two days after the barrier you did this video? And look at what she said. Destiny can be delayed, can it can never be changed. So what were you saying? Because you were your waiting over. I'm gonna be unlocking and disclosed and decode every words you 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 talk about that man. Now, what is it her destiny that was just you know there? It was she with her so long for the man to die in order for her to claim his property. Somehow the man okay, I can also say it was a worth the man. If you can buy two houses, of course that is not a poor man. And you also speak of properties, lands, okay? And you also talk about money in your account, right? So he said destiny can be delayed, but it can never be changed. So when she said codely, she was just saying, okay, it can be for this man to get out of my side. In order for me to you know, just lay hold on all this property, yeah, he delayed, of course. I was there for a whole 15 years only to suck his pennies and uh her -huh. sometimes they also do trace on huh? because i'm going to be using all your words against you but the delay is still come to reality that delay could be changed on the, along the way that is she still acquires her Go. Why? Only two days you buried this guy. You went to go and buy a chair. Why couldn't you buy that chair while he was alive? Why couldn't you buy this gold when he was alive? Why couldn't you buy the car when he was alive? Why only two days? If I in the barrack, you bought a, before the, you buried him, you bought a new car for your boyfriend. And afterwards, you bought a gold and you bought a chair. Why couldn't you do that when he was alive? Why? Who is after you? Because you quickly do all these things to come out, you know, not disturb us. Not me, because I'm not materialism. Me, I don't hurry dead people's property. No. Everything about Iori is dead, dead, and dead. Idian, yes, he gave power, he gave unto you. She's a dead person, dead power, dead testimony. And now the two houses you are using to brat and the land and the change on in the account and the widow whatever or widowhood or a benefit you bragged about that. You only run to Facebook, YouTube, you know, to you know to intimidate people. But I place a Yehovah that they all turn against you and tore you to pieces. Because this is not your wealth. When somebody is speaking of my sweat, you also will come and I say you are we are one of us. You are mad. You are mad. All right, now let me not be using my words quickly. Let's first go into the word of Abi Yehuwa, the very one that superseded all. So, we are doing this because any moment from now, this is going to be Iuri's teaching, and hey, she's going to neglect it, neglect the frustration she's been through all those 15 years. She's going to neglect that and begin to teach our daughters, our sisters, our friendly daughters of Zion. You know, to go and be rubbing Uibu, just go into marriage, even though the man is 100 years, never you mind, just go into marriage after all, wait patiently until it dies. That is satanic doctrine. Again, that is the doctrine from the pit of hell. Because you know how so frustrated you are, even forgetting about your own age, I was a project. So right now, here is the word of Abbey Yehovah, the double eyes saw, Bereshit, best known as Genesis chapter 1, 26. And Yehovah said, let us make man in our own image, after our likeness, let them have dominion over the fishes of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So Yehovah created him in his own image, in the image of Yehovah created he him. Male and female created he them. Did you get up? Any mother exists on earth. It is the image of Almighty Yehovah. Okay? We don't care whether it's black. We don't care whether it's white. As far as you are human, you've been created by this Almighty Yehovah. Why couldn't you have feelings? Okay? 
for the one that just died. The one you, you're not gonna see anymore. Not that when you cry is gonna bring it back to life. Not that when you cry is gonna cause its resurrection. No. But the memory you share together while he was alive is a lost testimony. The feelings you share together while he was alive is a lost testimony. Okay. The fellowship you shared together while he was alive is a lost testimony. The thought, you no, know, you sh both share together. The plans, you both share together, is a lost testimony forever. You're not gonna find him anywhere anymore to sit there and begin to discuss how we we were doing it like this. No, it's gone. That's what we we'll cry for. You sh you 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 honor that memory because it's a precious one. No one is gonna feel that vacuum. Anymore, if you already could display any of this, say because it's a white man, really, you're gonna tell me where white man is in the Bible. Because as if it was a black man and died, your husband, you're just gonna, ah, uh, no, no. In fact, if you misbehave like this, the family is gonna turn against you. We take loss in our hands, you know. The white people, they are some kind of a, some kind of relaxing, but you hurt them in their in, in, in most to be all right. So we see Abba Yawa created all things. We still put some more. All right now. Colossians, we have already read an old. I want to take also from the no Colossians chapter 1, 15 to 17 also. Who is the image of the invisible Yahuwah? Speaking of Mashiach, okay? The firstborn of every creature. For by him we are all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, all principalities, all powers, all things we are created by him and for him. And he is before all things and before him all things consist. Did you just get everything? Whether animal, I, when I go to YouTube, I see animal funerals. I see when they are doing burial for animal funerals, you know, service. If you could bury this man properly, if you could even hold a funeral or a reception, for her dead husband. Only to just go and dump him in the pit and just go away. Is that enough? Or thought? Or thought? It lasts long? Because you know in your mouth we are hearing that that man is 90 years old. But according to what I saw in the video, that man couldn't be less than 60, 65. I have your video. Even though you, you took them all that. But you know I'm a smart woman. I downloaded it. And I'm going to play that video over here as well. So even though the guy is a white guy, the most I created, oh, we are all human. You should have given him that befitting burial. He's a, he was a rich man. He was a wealthy man. You should have just buried him like a chicken. Even animal on YouTube, you can go and do your research. They also hold a funeral, uh, they hid a funeral service for animal. I see them bury animal. A place of humor. That caused his face to shine on you. Really? You talks. You are taking, you know, glory in another person's sweat. And you couldn't even because of that said, no, this man, you were so much there for me. No, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to surprise that that is, you know, expected to see something else from me. No. Rather, you just want to use to Facebook. You begin to rant. You that is living a talent, a rent. You that is paying rent. Eh? You want to you wanna compare yourself with me? <laughs> they have to ask. You build it, you bought a plot, you bought a block. How did you got it? You labor for 15 years in sucky old map pinos and doing tra tracer. Okay. But you should have buried him as a human because it was a worth the man. Mm? You should have given him a befitty burial. Not like a chicken. That was why the scripture, you know, Yuri, this is a normal system for a worldly people. You know why I'm speaking into this matter? Because you are so filled. So wretched for me to be even calling you with my own mouth. Not the mouth me I used to bless heavy. No, the only reason why we are doing this, you don't you shouldn't have been quoting Bible. You shouldn't have been quoting holy fathers. You are not qualified to be quoting holy fathers. You are not qualified to be quoting holy mothers. You are not qualified to be quoting, you know, holy apostles. You are not qualified at all to be quoting holy characters of the Bible. You quoted Joseph, how tell you? You quoted the cross, how tell you? You quoted the uh, uh, Mama Sarah, how? These are holy people. 
Rather, you should not be quoting your own paradise applies unto you, the very Jezebel Delilah, the very wicked animal that is so heartless, that it can never be his bro or her brother's keeper, that is returning evil for good. You now say the death of your husband is now your victory. You now say the death of your husband is now your freedom. How could that be? What have he done to you for you to say now you are free? He's going to be back to be 40, fighting all these 15 years. Now I'm free, I can travel. How could you do that? Anyway, I'm going to be declaring one, one thing unto you. It's a fact, it's a sure word. It's a Martha, Martha settled already in the heart of Abba Yehovah. You see the feet you used to carry this man to the mortuary, our cemetery, to bury him. That same your feet, you're going to use it to carry Eric. That is sleeping with another man's wife. That same fit today is going to bury Eric. Not too long. It's not prophecy. It's a sure word. Because sometimes prophecy can cease. But what do you say? The door saith Yahuwah from the royal law. He settles it. Eric is the next to go now. He more told where they know. He was my because the way you both treat this guy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, no, no. You, you don't do things like that. You can't try this nonsense to black husband. The family will tear you into pieces. You knew that. I don't care whether you say he's a hold man. That is never my business. Because you were sucking his dick. You use your mouth to tell us legally married unto him. You legally married. You even said it in this your madness barrier. Very cheeky. That you never knew that uh, marriage is so powerful before the government. You say, hey, so government marriage is so powerful. That is legally married to white people. So it's so powerful. You never knew it's like this. They are calling you here. They are calling you there. They say, they want to bury your husband. You couldn't respect that holy union. You couldn't respect that faithful union. This man just opened his heart for you and said, come over here. Let me change your life and let me change your story. You couldn't do that. I say the power you are using to do sort of water, a trillions of uh, a trillions of sand is pouring out of their vagina, and a lot of uh, fowl is flying out of their penis. It came from dead people. Look the wealth you are also using to, you know, you, you are ranting about on Facebook and YouTube. It's also came from dead people. Everything about his dead, they're not living testimony. All his dead testimony from dead people. All right, now, let's push some more. Now, your Igbo boyfriend, Eric, is the one to enter this coffee now. You are returning here back again, not too, not too long, eh? You are coming right back so fast to bury Eric as well. Because you are a married woman. You should, should they be having a boyfriend. I don't care what you said it is. If you don't quote Bible, because Bible condemns every attitude here. Because you are a married woman. We don't care whether white or black. Uh, he said he created all things for his own use. You should have mourned him. According to the Bible, we're going to put that. We're going to put that for you. This man, you are, you are the one to enter this grave now. This coffee, Eric, is the one to go. And yeah, who was mighty now? I'll be sorry for him. Because you cannot be bringing disgrace to the Nigerians or Africa and say they are so wicked. Eh? If that man, Michelle, you also call him, call him in some video, unless I also heard you call him again, Michelle. I don't know. Who you, that is your own problem, okay? If that man was a black man, you can't treat him this way. You can't bring your boyfriend to the cemetery. He means disrespect not to the death. He means disrespect to him, to his corpse. All right, I want to do the third mouth. Because the royal law said, out of the mouth or two or three witnesses, testimony will be established. We took from the old, okay, Genesis 1, 26 to 27. And we also took from the, math, the center of the martyr. Colossians 1, 15-17 and I want to take from the very last book of the royal law called Revelation, the third mouth. Revelation 4, 11. Thou art worthy, O Yehovah, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and we are created. It's only for his own use, he created it all. Black or white, regardless of color, he created the word Oh, you should have treated this guy the way you should have also treated your black African man. Okay? You should have seen him, even though he's old, regardless, I don't care. Okay? Papa Abraham was old. So can we, can we start with his own burial? Okay? I don't just care. But you just treated this guy. You make it so broad. 
that you are only there. You don't even have likeness. Atom of likeness you don't have for him. Let's drop love. Likeness, if you like it. Ah, no. The way you, 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 you would have, you know, handled this matter. We all should have been, in fact, pity for you. Now, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's kind of, she was really, really, oh, oh, no. She tried. Oh, no. How can you mourn somebody only for one day or two days? In fact, in the burial ground, you go there with your sexual man friend called Eric. No, go on big bina. Yeah, what's my name? So it's good I to put in. It's good to put in the word of Abba. Because since I declare it already, so shall it be in Yahweh's mighty name. I want to put it that the feet you used to bury your husband, that same feet you're gonna be using right away to bury Eric in Yahweh's mighty. You are coming back to this cemetery. You are returning back to this system of this burial system, and we will see how you will bury Eric. We're gonna be taking that lesson from here. We're gonna be judging as well. I got opposed to chapter 5, I read 7 to 8 or whatever. And it was about the space of three hours after when he, his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. And Kifa answered unto her, Tell me whether ye sold, sold the land for uh, sold the land for so much. And she said, Yea, for so much. All right, now. Then Kifa said unto her, how is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit of Jehovah? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out also. Ten. Then she fell down straight away at his feet, and he did up the ghost. And the young man came in and found her dead, and carried her Fourth, buried her by her husband. Both husband and wife lied, treated the presence of Abba Yehua with feces. Therefore, the husband first of all died. Now, Apostle Kifana also say, You, the wife, the very fit that buried your husband, they are also here for you to bury you. Has he just declared they died? She also died, excuse me. And indeed, the people that buried her husband only in the space of three hours returned back. And also buried his wife. That's what I declare for Eric in Yahuwah's mighty name. Three hours could go for three months. Three hours could go for three years. Not exceed that in Yahuwah's mighty name. I'm not saying right now three hours. No. This three hours could go for three months. And this three hours could go for three years. Not exceed that in Yahuwah's mighty name. So I declare for Eric. Iyore, you will bury him, and we will see, and we will be taking our judgment as well. How you want to bury Eric, we will see. That if you also bury him the way you bury your husband, we will see because it's your boyfriend. Your, bo your husband is dead. Your boyfriend also needs to go. Black, I want to see the difference, and we'll judge, okay? Sound very well. like be a wizard. Your heart is so hard, a unique heart. But the word of Abba is going to pieces that heart into pieces. It's going to tear it into pieces in Yehovah's mighty name. Not, not for repentance, but for your destruction in the mighty name of Yehovah. Look at the way she looks. Oh, why not? It looks like a mad woman. What is the meaning? Just so look at. I don't So, so look at. What, what is this for? Oh, you know, Right now, let's put in again the word of Yehovah. I want to let you know the book Yuri claims she believed in. I want to be exposed here through the eyes of the royal law. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 4. Listen up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. You couldn't differentiate from the morning season, from the weeping season. She couldn't differentiate and put her son down between dancing and crying and between uh, mourning and laughing, she couldn't put her son there. She couldn't dif distinguish and say, This time, yeah, should, should I be mourning? Why rejoicing? Why are this bragging? No, she couldn't differentiate it. But the book says there is a time at that time was the day your husband died. It should have been the most you know, sorrowful moment for you, it should have been the most, you know, very, you know. Or a sad, a, a sad moment for you. It could have been a moment of silence for you. It could have been a moment for you to just shut your mouth and think and reflect the goodness of that man. How he just changed your life. How he stood by you. How his love was so pure, undiluted for you. You couldn't reflect that at all. You now begin to dance and say you are not free. 
He said, hey, You are destroying your testimony, my friend. You are not clear. I don't know. Illiteracy is indeed like this. But you are not destroying your own testimony. Because the royal law, the book you carry says, Let your good words be seen by others on the street. That when they see your good words, they're going to be bringing glory unto me, your Father, which is in heaven. What glory this attitude of yours, this filthy out of yours. What glory did it bring to heaven? Everybody is naggy. I saw a woman, when a lady did also a message against you, she was just crying. He said, how could people, you know, how could she be so wicked? How could she be so weak? That woman was just crying. No, what, 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 what should I be your weeping? To be crying for that holy memory you shared that. That is lost eternal. You can never see him again to sit down and share that memory with him. No. Those are the precious moments you should, pre precious memory you should have considered. I said, no, I was like this. No, I was like this. This man told me this. This man make me this. He gave me a voice. He make my voice a trumpet. You should have been reflected those moments. And silent. And don't speak for now. Just speak of his goodness for you. Now you're not saying you are, you are doing it to pepper enemy. You just destroyed your testimony, my friend. Baby. You're going to be learning that from me, okay? And say how Abiyawa blesses us. We don't hurry the dead people property. If Abiyawa stand up, and you're going to be learning that, okay? Of course, it has to be so. A worth demon will just come and adopt me without no sexual you know, connection. Mm -hmm. But this is what you say. You say it's, it's, it's adoption. You say it's marriage. You are just confused. You are confusing yourself. And the other time before you, you know, come to this level, you say you, you always, you know, sucking because it was kind of sick or an old, so you can't do the bang banging. Let's take some scripture, but you should have been more. That's what we are saying. A man can also adopt a woman and later fall in love with her and say, I want to marry a baby. That is not an abomination, but why are you disrespecting that man? What you both did in the secret, and you are not saying eh, adoption. And the other one you said is marriage to give you paper. And the other one you say it is this. And the, wh wh what part are you? You bought the good 15,000. Not just two minutes away. You say it's 12,000. You see how you are confusing yourself. So this is the book. Iori carries. I'm going to be reading from our other book. Okay. That, but this one is being written. No references. A lot of le references. Excuse me. So many references is being made to this very book of Yashio. So the references you can find it in a place like this, Joshua chapter 13, verses 10, he will say, is it not written in the book of Yashia? You can also find it again in 2 Samuel or Samuel chapter 1, verses 18, we said the leftover account, is it not written in the book of Yashia? Now also in the New Testament, you can also find 2 Timothy chapter 8, verses, no, excuse me, chapter 3, verses 8, he also quoted from there, from the book of Yashia, okay? Janice and Jambres, they are in the book of Yashel. So I want to read from the very book of Yashel, chapter 3. Since this is the first man, I also take about three men, okay, to let you know how one more. So the book of Yashel, chapter 3, verses 40 to 15, I read. And it was in the 56th year of the life of Lamech, when Adam died, 930 years old, 930 but we mourn. How old is Michelle or Alice? I don't know what you call him. Uh, it was 930 years old when he, at his death, and his two sons with uh, Anuka or Enoch and uh, Metisela, his son, buried him with great pain. You see, they, they gave him a befitting burial. And this your white husband is a rich guy. You could have given him a befitting, you just bury it like a chicken. Because at the burial of kings, in the cave which Yahuwah had told him, 15, and in that place all the sons of men made a great mourning and weepy on account of Adam. It was before, it has, okay, it has before became a custom among the sons of men to this what day, to this what day. So the weepy and mourning came from Adam, being the first man. When he ate of the forbidden tree, he died. That is where these death packs on to 
the, his posterity is black or white regardless okay no we got this practice i bet you won't give it unto them because you have to cry because i bet you won't ever make anyone in the first place to die so that is it's still inside every one of us being unbeliever or believer when you die we weep because it's a it's, it's a department of eternal the memory we share is gone i can't see to reflect it anymore so let me mourn for that very precious moment we share together he said it now become a custom until these days. So Revelation 21 said no more death and no more weeping and no more tears and no more sorrow. Okay. For I make all new again. For the former things is gone. Now I make it new. Until then we will see cry for our beloved one. I don't care regardless. Father Havra, oh, excuse me. Uh, 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 that was 900, almost a thousand years. We still cry. We still cry. How old is Mitchell? How old? Arthur? He lived long. Arthur? Or you just raise up that age to deceive yourself, not me. Because that man I saw on the video, he looks 60, 65. And that was just two years ago. So how dare you not say it's not 92 years? Are you not telling me that video that was a man of 89 years? Are you mad? Now I want to also read the burial of Father Abraham. It was also with the Malachi white man. But you couldn't give him a befitty period. You just bury him like a chicken. Because that's all you were there for. To claim the property. Now listen. In the book of Yashia as well. 26. So we're reading from 29 to 33. I read 29. And it was at that time that Abraham died. In the uh, 50, uh, 50th, uh, 15th year of the life of Jacob and his soul. The sons of Isaac, and all the days of Father Havram was 125 years. He died in a very good age, but we still mourn him. We still cry for him. Mm -hmm. We still mourn him. All right, let's read together. 29. I don't know if you have it. I'm sorry about that. 29 verses 29 right now. And it was at that time that Abraham died in the 25th. Uh, in the war, where is it? Okay, yes, I read that already. All right, okay, let me take take it again. It was at that time that Abraham died in the fifteenth year of the life of Jacob and his son, the sons of Isaac, and all the days of Abraham were one hundred and twenty five years, and he died and was gathered to his people in good old age, uh, old and uh, satisfied with days. Now, if you said your grace or your nonsense, stupidity, sort of words, are even sustain him. Now, let me tell you, if that were true, that man should have received healing. He should have died in that horrible condition of cancer. If your life, your, your sort of word of power was indeed divine and alive, you should have used it to heal him. Let him die in a very, you know, peaceful let him die a peaceful death because we heard that from your mouth and say, it's even the condition he was living is better he died. He was suffering. Why could it be your salt and water healed? Because Father Abraham was he died in the year 125. He was not in a bad condition. He was very healthy. That guy should have been healthy. If it was salt and water lived, it could have healed him. Only to fly snakes out of their vagina. A perverse and wicked gathering of injury. Now we talk about sex perversion. Quickly, I need to also put this. There are three so I heard it from her. 39. And when the inhabitants of Canaan heard that Abraham was dead, they all came with their kings and princes and, and princes and all their men to bury him. And all the inhabitants of the land of Haran and all the families of the house of Abraham and all the uh, princes and uh, uh, guardians and the sons of Abraham by the concubines all came when they heard of Abraham's death. And they required, uh, okay, required Abraham kindness. Yes, now begin to talk about his kindness. Okay. And uh, comfort Isaac, his son. And they buried him in the cave which the which he bought from, okay, the Hittite and the, his children for the possession of a burial place. Okay. And all the inhabitants of Cana and all those who had known Abraham wept for Abraham a whole year. And men and women mourned over him, and all the children, and all the little children, and all the inhabitants of the land wept on account of Abraham, 
for Abraham had been good to them all, and because he had been upright with Yehovah and men. A whole year. Yours should have been maybe three months. There's a whole year. People that is not that don't even they saw him being a good person. They mourned him a whole year. For the whole community to mourn somebody for a whole year. Ours is about okay, let me put another one. You see, so even though it was 125 years, we still cried, we wept bitterly because the memory is gone. We didn't see any of these attributes from you. Rather, they begin to brat and rant, talk about someone's wealth to intimidate others. Oh, I fear, oh, hey, what's mighty name? Are you for real? You know, bury your grand, bury your husband, you carry your boyfriend over there. Eric is the next to go now. And the same feet you used to bury me, chair, your husband. That same your feet, you also use it to bury Eric in here. What's mighty name? Let's see, want to put the third mouth. The Debori, or best known as the Deuteronomy 34. And seven to eight, we want to talk about the most powerful man, another wonderful, powerful man of Yahuwah, Moses. And Moshe was an hundred and twenty years old. Okay. And Moshe was an hundred and twenty years old when he died. His, okay, his eyes was not what a thing, nor his natural face changed. Did you get that? He was still looking so fresh and so, you know, so strong. Because it was in the presence of Yehovah. You said you were in the presence of who? Idia. Dead people grieve. And you couldn't heal your son. Whether could he give this man health? Uh, 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 he, he couldn't heal him, not give him a healthy life. Or rather, he died in cancer. You dare speak, you have authority. Many be a gadazen. Thunder strike you, Yuri. Yeah, what's my thing? Now, verses 8. And the train of Israel wept for Moshe in the plain of Moab 30 what days. Did you get a whole month? So the days of weeping and mourning for Moshe were ended. So, okay, because they were in the wilderness. We see the people that were was in the wilderness, they did it for a whole year. And we see this one, they were in the wilderness, they did it for a month. You couldn't even say, okay, now, because you can go for a month, two months. Depends how good that man is to you. You couldn't do any, only one. You couldn't, no, every day you keep coming there and be talking. Now since trash, it was all over you in your speech, body language, and your stupidity, you begin to display witchcraft. That hey, this is what I've been waiting for. It is the bread, the, the bread of our soul. Now since right now, I also like to put one in the New Testament. This has to do with Stephen, our apostle chapter eight, verses two, and the divine man carried Stephen. To his burial and made a great word lamentation over him. We lament because the memory is what we are crying for. He can never come back. He can never be reset. He can never be you know found anymore. It's gone eternal. That's what we cry for. You cry for you can't bring it back, but the memory you share both together. Now Romans 12 and 15. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. We see these are two different things. There's a rejoicing time and there's a weepy time. But the weepy time, you you you, 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 you just you missed it all together and said now your weepy time is now your rejoicing time because you are free. Now you're not begin to eat the bread of affliction for 15 whole years. This is your death of bed as you put it on your Facebook. I found it over there. You have to Facebook, okay? This is it. Old woman. You were waiting for someone to die in order for you to become a mother. I gone with him in your was mighty name. This is the order of your Facebook. It is the bread of affliction. They all say January 1st, January 1st, just a year older. If indeed you were birthed in uh, 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 January 1979, you are, you are headed to 42. Old woman. And the other one you also put, if it was 1980, you are headed to 41. Tell me now, which one make you a baby among the two death you break out? You are old woman, but you couldn't consider your motherhood. You couldn't consider your, your, your own personal life. You were you're running after money, the love of money indeed is the root of all evil. Now, Psalm 127 verses 2, I'm running out of time. It is, it, it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up, to, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For he, for so he giveth his uh, beloved ash. Okay, all right.
well, you will eat the bread of sorrow for your whole 15 years. You know, this is not the kind of life you want. You know, this old man is not good for you. You just simply know, but because you are a lovers of money, you now begin to eat the blood of, bread of affliction for your whole 15 years, sucking a whole man dick and pouring that garbage in your mouth on you, as you said before. I know you take all this video down already because you see how disgusting it is. This is the actual life you wanted to live, but because of money you hang over there, Oh, I'm running out of time. I don't want to do two. Now, now if I can read this, let me just put it in the first Timothy. Or oh, is this second Timothy? First Timothy, let me be sure. Uh, where is it? Yeah, first Timothy chapter 6 from verses 6 to 12. Go and see it over the world. The love of money has already dragged you into because you're going to be buried eternal. No charge for you here. What's my name? Okay, this is the very girl. This is the girl that lays dead. Can you see her? This is her husband, Lee Goli. You see? This was only two years ago. This man looks like... Does this man looks like 89? Oh, look, this man looks 60. Yeah, very healthy. He was... This only done... You no. Know, two years ago. Only done two years ago. She deleted it. I saved it already. I downloaded, not even said. Oh ah, no. No, people will also call this bastard and say sorry. She will say, for what? Don't ever come here and say sorry. And don't ever come here and say, uh, 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 and be crying. No, at all. So does this man look 87, 89? Because this was two years ago or three. No, two, uh, late two years ago. I'll show you already when she opened that face, but I took it from there. Okay, let's say three years ago. Does this man look 80 what? Nine? You say it's 92? You eat the bed of a bread of sorrow. Now, in the, when she came out, she said people shouldn't be saying sorry to her. No, she don't want it because the man lasts long. Oh, who went on here about Barry Eric now in your wife's mighty name? Oh, oh, okay. Liar. Wazua. Saverwao. Let me speak. Now she says she wants to divorce her husband. She could have done. You could, you can't, you you can't do that. Why? Because you want to claim all his property. If you divorce him, his property is going to be 50-50. Okay, maybe he has two houses, like you say. You're going to be taking one. He will take one. Maybe he have four plots of land. You're going to be taking two. He will take two. Maybe he have half a million. You're going to be taking two fifty. He will take two fifty. But you couldn't just go and start your own life and divorce him. Now that you have your document already, but you waited until he died in order for you to part all this property. Greediness is going to make you childless in your wife's mighty name. Listen, changes, treason. Changes. We hear from her. So, are you not saying that is what your Ibo told you to be doing with Eric? So, is that what you are saying now, encodedly, that uh, your husband sexual your relationship with Eric to, for Eric to be having sexual intercourse with you before him? You would still have so many explanations to give. But we are done for now. Here on here too when you are what's mighty name. Changes. So are you not saying